video we're going to be looking at how to measure the rate of a reaction in an experiment. We know that reactants always change into products. There are two ways in which we can measure. We can either measure one, the mass of reactants, or two, the volume of gas products being produced. So to measure the mass of reactants, we use an electronic balance. So what actually happens during the experiment? As the gas is lost from the open flask, the mass of reactants on the balance decreases. Now, when drawing your diagram, you have to make sure that the flask must be open. It cannot be closed so that this allows the gas to escape. We use a cotton wool plug to prevent the spray leaving the flask, but the gas can escape through that. We must also have a digital scale and it's always got to be measured in grams. When measuring and collecting gas products, there are two different diagrams we have to know. The first one is using a gas syringe. So as the gas is collected in the gas syringe, the plunger pulls back and the volume of gas is collected in the gas syringe increases. When drawing your diagram, you must have a hollow tube going from the flask to the syringe. This is to ensure that the gas can pass from the flask into the syringe. The syringe must have lines to act as a scale so that we're actually able to measure the gas products produced. And the flask must have a stopper to prevent the gas from escaping the flask because if that was the case, you wouldn't actually collect the gas in the gas syringe. The second method for measuring and collecting gas products is using the displacement of water using an upturned measuring cylinder. So as the gas is collected in the measuring cylinder, the water is pushed out and the volume of gas collected increases in the measuring cylinder. Things that you need to consider when you're drawing your diagram is you must have a hollow tube going from the flask into the measuring cylinder. This is so that the gas can pass from the flask into the measuring cylinder to be collected. The measuring cylinder must have lines to act as a scale because again we are measuring the volume of gas products. The flask must have a stopper to prevent the gas from escaping. Again, if the gas escapes, it won't pass through the tube to be collected. And the water in the tub must be above the entrance of the measuring cylinder. This to, is not to ensure that your measuring cylinder is filled to zero initially for your collection of gas. And as the gas is collected, this will push the water out. So the water around uh, the measuring cylinder should increase. Now this method is used for collecting insoluble gases. The reason being, if the gas is soluble, it will dissolve in the water and would not be collected. So let's have a go at seeing if we can spot what's wrong in each of these examples. I'll give you a wee bit of time and then the answer will pop up on the screen for you to identify what's wrong with each of the diagrams drawn by students in the class. <laughs> Past paper questions from the National 5 2019 Multiple Choice 21. Nitrogen dioxide is a brown coloured gas that is soluble in water and is more dense than air. Which of the following diagrams shows the most appropriate method for collecting and measuring the volume of nitrogen dioxide? So this question is a wee bit tricky. Naturally you'll think to yourself, oh it's got to be an upturned measuring cylinder. However, we can see that the gas is soluble, which means it would dissolve in the water. So the answer A and B cannot be correct, as we wouldn't be able to collect the gas as it would dissolve in the water. That leaves us with C and D. The next part of the text that gives us some context is the fact that it's saying it's more dense than air. If something's more dense, it means that it's heavier, heavy things sink, which means the correct method that we would use would be method C. 
This past paper question is from the National 5, 2022, written 2C. Suggests a different measurement that can be used to follow the progress of this chemical reaction. So what we can see here is that the volume of gas produced is being collected. So instead of measuring the products, we can measure the mass of reactants. This past paper question is from Intermediate 2, 2011, written 11. Complete the diagram to show the apparatus which could have been used to measure the volume of gas being produced. So you can either draw a gas syringe or you can use the displacement of water using an upturned measuring cylinder. It's not expected at this stage that you know anything about the solubility of the gas being produced, which is uh, carbon dioxide. So either of these would be accepted at National 5.